video blog, you train my hands for war, God, my fingers for battle, Psalm 144, yeah, 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 oh, you train my hands for war, and my fingers for battle, oh, you train my hands for war, and my fingers for battle, and we will run and not be weary, we will walk in your strength, we will run and not be weary, and walk in your strength, we will run and not be weary, and walk in your strength, yeah. well, when you train my hands for war, God, and my feet. For battle, oh, you train my hands for war, and my fingers for battle, and we will run and not be weary, we will walk in your strength, we will run and not be weary, we will walk in your strength, God, we will run and not be weary, and walk in your strength. There's a new wave of your spirit. There's a new wave of your spirit. Washing over me, coming in my life. Feel it washing over me, yeah. There's a new wave of your spirit. There's a new wave. It's washing over me, it's coming over me, awesome wind of your spirit, God. Because you train my hands for war, God, and my fingers for battle. You train my hands for war, my God, and my fingers for battle. Yes, you train my hands for war, God, and my fingers for battle. And we will run and not be weary, we will walk in your strength. We will run and not be weary, we're going to walk in your strength, God. We will run and not be weary, walk in your strength forevermore. Every day I will walk in your strength, oh Lord, every day, yeah, oh. every day I will walk in your strength, praise God. Psalm 144, here's what it says, blessed be the Lord, my rock, and you're my firm strength, Lord. It says, blessed be the Lord, my rock, my firm strength. I love that. You train my hands for war and my fingers to fight for battle. You give me strength for war and skill for battle. I believe this is one of the top things that worship teams, worship leaders, worship singers and musicians. You have to come into this place now where you understand this is not about a song service. It's not about how you did, how well you did on Sunday morning. Uh, we started rating our services many years ago and almost took the life out of it. We got done with our worship team. Our church was 1,000, then it was 2,000, it was 3,000. So we thought we were smart guys and girls. We started, well, that was like a five and a half, you know. Don't rate, what you're, we're not looking at how good one service is. Are you living this as a lifestyle? It's lifestyle. I, I don't care what event you got through. Sunday morning can turn into an event. Wednesday night youth can turn into an event. But are we doing as a lifestyle? So what I believe would be a good prayer, a significant prayer right now, is God begin to show us the warfare element every time we get in front of a mic, every time we pick up a guitar, play a piano, even in our devotional time at our house, in your prayer closet, in a prayer room, whatever kind of ministry you're doing is under the Lord, 
Say, God, give us a revelation that we can begin to pierce the darkness with the light of your word. As we sing and pray the word of God, as, as we begin to release the music that's intermingled with the consecration of the Lord. God, that is so good. Whew. When you get the fire mixed in with the praise and worship, and it's not just, well, I'm doing my job right now. My job description is I'm a worship leader. Let me tell you something that's startling to people. I've shared it for over 26 years on the road. I said, I'm not a worship leader because somebody put me in charge and gave me a job. I'm a worship leader because I'm a worshiper. Oh, that's right. You can't be a worship leader. You shouldn't be anyway. You shouldn't even be given the job description or be put in authority to do that unless you're carrying a spirit of worship. Check it out. The spirit of worship, you'll never grow at church anywhere on the planet without the spirit of worship and a worshiper's heart. Uh, You'll never see revival or an outpouring of the Holy Spirit if you don't walk in the spirit of worship and have a worshiper's heart. And surely you'll not have serious devotion unto the Lord Jesus. This is good. I know it's probably arresting for some people. It's a little bit disconcerting. Well, good. That's good. Well, no, I thought I was doing a good job. Well, maybe you are, but there's always the next level. We can stretch out to the next place. So hear this scripture again. David started, blessed be the Lord. He's my rock. He's not a piece of bread. He's not, you know, he, he's not some God that goes away when Elisha was on top of the mount with the Baal priest. And, oh, I think your, your God went away or maybe he's going to the bathroom right now. It was facetious, the stuff that Elijah was saying. But, but he says, no, my God is my rock. And he's, I love this, my firm strength. Because some days I don't even feel like leading worship. Not, not much anymore, but when I was younger, I mean, you'd feel sick or maybe you just got rocked. Your world got rocked for like a whole week in a row, your job. Because most worship leaders are part-time. Um, they're, they're not full-time paid at their church staffs and stuff. Even prayer room people are volunteer staff. And so sometimes you're going to have a rough week, but you go, you know what? I'm going to do this because he's writing it all down and he's making it plain. He, he, he records, every, even when I, I got done with a 90-minute prayer room set, and I went, God, that was awful. He goes, no, no, I wrote it all down. It counted before me. And actually, you seriously were beginning to damage principalities and, and demonic, the demonic kingdom over your city and over your church. I went, wow, okay, Lord, that's pretty good. But he says, he trains my hands for war. You know, he, he came first as the Lamb of God. I love that. Who took away the sins of the world. But he's coming back as a lion. Because I said, Lord, sometimes I I have a spirit of fight in me. I got a tiger. He goes, no, Ken, I'm a warrior. Don't misunderstand the spirit of this. I'm a warrior. And so this is, uh, as we begin to enter into these places, I want to fight in the spirit, not in the natural, which is why he trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. And we're just going to go out singing singing it again. Psalm 144, study it long, study it hard, study it until you're really tired of it. All of a sudden, the light goes on. Because you train my hands for war, you train my hands for war, God, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you train my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. Oh, you train my hands for war, God. And my fingers for battle. We will run and not be weary. We will walk in your strength. We will run and not be weary. I love that. Walk in your strength. We will run and not be weary. We will walk in your strength. Hey, yeah. Will you train my hand? Oh, that's so good right there. War and my fingers. For battle, will you train my I'm built for this guy? Woo! And my finger for battle. And we will run not be weary, we will walk in your strength. We will run and not be weary, we will walk in your strength. We will run and not be weary, we will walk in your strength. We will run and run and we will walk, God. We will run in you, train for war. We will run in you. We give you 
you the glory, God. Thank you for the gifts in every person, in every human, every vessel, God. For your glory, we say in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah.